Hi, my name is Alina. Today I want to show you how to make um, your own mermaid monofin. I have a real one um, that's actually a monofin. You, I'm going to start selling these off of eBay, so just remember that in case you want one. Um, mine broke right here. You could see it. I don't know if you could see it in the camera, but I broke it like right here. But once it gets to the rubber, it will stop since it has rubber. Um, it's in its cover right now. That's not ripped. I just didn't sew it there. See? Um, so I'm going to take it out of my monofin cover. And it looks like this. It's from Venice. And it has these braids on the bottom. Um, and then this is the cover. Looks really weird when it's not in it. You could buy it without the monofin um, itself because there you could buy them on eBay and stuff. Amazon and stuff like that. And then I have my actual mermaid tail. It's two separate pieces that it comes in. But today I want to show you how to make your own if you um, don't have it. And then you could put them in these sleeves. If you don't want that, you could just like draw lines and make it look fancy. I'm going to get it on the thing. So to do it, you just lay out your um, monofin cover. Okay. Hold on. Okay, I, uh, put that there. There will be an opening at the bottom like this. You just want to open that up like this and then take your monofin and from the other side where there's the other opening, pull it inside the monofin cover. Then this one's a little small, but you just need to bring it over and wrap it over. Bring it over and wrap it over. And voila. Okay, so let's get started on how to make this one. I added some decoration. See? Okay. So first get a cardboard box and then you want to um open it up. Okay, so I have it open. This was a beer box. And you just want to lay it down on the ground. Um, I'm just going to use my actual monofin to trace. I don't know if it's this is big enough for it, but I'll try. Um, this way might work. Okay, this way works. Um, you want to have enough room for your feet. And then, yeah, so then I'm just going to test my pen, okay. Then I'm going to start tracing it. Okay, I have it traced out. See? Now we're just gonna take our scissors, scissors, and cut it out. It takes a while to cut out, but it it works. I'll be right back with it all cut out. Okay, so now that I have it cut all cut out, um, we're going to make the part for the feet. No, I'm just going to use this extra piece of cardboard. You're basically just cutting out a rectangle. So, this won't take long. Eh, it's hard holding the camera. With the, okay, I got it. You just want to cut out a tiny tab that your feet are going to go on. 
You don't want to make it too big, but about this size would be good. Then I'm going to start cutting on the opposite side. And just cut that out. And then, there you go. You have the feet part where your feet are gonna go on. And then now you need duct tape. I'm gonna go pick out my thing. I have picked out the zebra one. So you're gonna add two layers of this on your thing. Okay, so first you're gonna take the color of duct tape you want. Then, eh, sorry, I'm trying to get it off. So just um, put the sticky side up and then measure how long it is. Mine's about this long. I'm gonna, you could rip it or you could um, cut it. But I chose to cut it, mine. And um, just, ah. And then just set the duct tape down on where your feet are supposed to go, and uh, the card, the, your actual mono thing. So it looks like, so it looks like this. And then take the extra and flip it, and then put the extra duct tape here. And I'm going to cut some of it off. Okay. And then on the back, see how it kind of like goes like this? You don't really want that as much, but you're only going to put one layer here. And you do this. So it does bend. And just. Ah! Just take the same length and cut it and place it on the back the exact same way. And then flip it over again and take the excess duct tape and put it over. And then you cover the whole thing with duct tape. I'll show you it halfway, but I won't talk, and then I'll pause the video again. But I'll show you it halfway, and then I'll stop it, and the whole thing will be done. Okay, so finally I'm done um, with one side, and I told you I'd show you half of it, and it looks like this, and the back side is like still cardboard, but this is what it looks like. And uh, it flops like this. And then in the water, it flows kind of pretty. So, I can be back with the whole thing done. I decide for the back, I'm going to use this blue cheetah print stuff. But this part, I'm just going to leave zebra. So, yeah, I'll be right back with the whole thing done. Okay, so now that I got it done, both sides, see? Um, it takes about mm, 30 minutes to do the duct tape because it takes a while. Then you want to take your feet and put it on. Take your pen. Take your pen. Hold on. Take your pen and trace about a few inches off your feet, um, you want to put it all, the, you want to start where the zebra part starts on mine, this is going to be the front of mine, so,
Okay. You can kind of see the lines of where I drew hardly. But now you're going to um, put duct tape over your foot. Okay, now that I got it finished, I forgot to tell you I use paper towel to measure my foot, but once it goes in water, the paper towel will dissolve. Um, and it has like a foot pocket as it goes up. That's the zebra print. And then on the other side is the bottom part. Zebra print, the one I started off with. And then it, when you try it on, you just take it and put your feet in it like that and then go like that and you have a mermaid model fin thank you for watching please subscribe to me and like this video and peace out bye oh i forgot to tell you i wanted to show you it with the cover on so okay Uh, it's inside out. Um, I'm going to put it in the cover. I don't think this one really needs color because of how decorative it is. But you could put it in the cover if you want to. And i got to grab the foot pocket. Hard. Okay. So it looks like this, isn't it? Hi.